Hello, in today's tutorial, we'll learn how to create a new space. Spaces is a unique and powerful tool allowing a small business owner or human resource administrator to publish a centralized digital bulletin board to house general benefits information for their employees to access. If you're an insurance broker, you'll be able to add to your list of services provided to better retain your existing clients. You'll be able to publish an online resource for your employer clients that highlights the benefits and services that you provide to the employees. With that said, let's create a space together. As always, we'll first need to sign in into our SwellChat account. Once signed in, navigate to the Spaces tab in your dashboard and click on New Space. Before we add content, let's familiarize ourselves with the page settings view, where you are able to name the space, include your personalized subdomain URL, choose your background and accent color. Notice that I do not need to input RGB values or hex numbers. I'll be using the color picker on our Capacity Benefits logo to help brand this space. Something to note, the color picker may look different and will depend on the browser you're using. And then, we'll include a password for a layer of security. The Page Settings section will also allow you to publish your space once created or save your work. At any time during the creation process, you can see what your page will look like by simply toggling Live View. There are six sections in total below the page settings. The header, the hero banner, the features section, the document library, frequently asked questions, and finally, the footer. Now, let's go back to the top and get a little bit more detailed in each of these sections. Let's start with the header section. We would recommend including your company logo and relevant contact information here. Uploading your company logo is as easy as dragging your logo to this area. Notice accepted file types here. Include relevant contact information here. If you decide not to have a header, you're able to hide the header by unchecking visible in this section. Now that we've created the header, let's move on to our hero banner. In this section, we would recommend including your main headline for the space, the body copy that briefly explains the space, a call to action that is linkable, And finally, your hero image. For the hero image, while SwellChat will accept landscape and square crop images, we recommend using a vertical image to fill the hero section. At this point, you're probably getting curious about what the space is looking like so far. But first, let's hit save to ensure that we don't lose any of the work we've done. You'll notice that once your space is saved, you'll end up back in the spaces dashboard. To see our progress, Let's get back into the space we're working in and toggle Live View. Okay, so far, so good. Let's now work on the Features section and add the headline for our benefits.
Let's add a healthcare benefit by clicking Edit. Like all copy and images we've done previously, updating is easy and simple. Let's now update the call to action button for you to link an external page that provides more information to the user employee. Only as an example, let's use a Blue Cross Blue Shield landing page. Now that we've created our first benefit, adding additional featured benefits is easy. Click on add a feature and repeat the same steps. Just in case you wanted to change the order of each of the benefits, we provided the reorder control that enables you to reorder the benefits you've already input without having to recreate each one over again. Our next section is the documents library. In this section, not only are you able to utilize heading and body copy, you'll also be able to upload document, video, and image files for employees to access, download, and review. For this example, let's upload two PDF files, a health benefits enrollment form, and another document explaining the benefits of a health savings account. Drag and drop, and that's it. Let's move forward with the FAQ section. At this time, you already know how to input copy, so we'll skip that part. However, let's highlight the reorder control again. This allows you to easily reorder your FAQs without having to recreate each one again. Lastly, let's discuss the footer section. This section has three copy elements. The company's address, office hours, and the copyright section. Let's save all the work we've done so far and let's see the space we created together. Now that the space is saved and published, let's copy the link to the space we just created and paste it onto a new browser window. First thing you'll see is that we'll need to first enter the password we chose on our page settings. Once entered, you'll then see the space we created. Pro tip, Spaces is mobile responsive. You won't have to create a mobile specific version of the space you created for desktop. Pro tip number two, when providing access to employees, request that they bookmark the URL you created or provide a handy QR code for easy reference and access to benefit information. I know this was a long one, but I hope this tutorial has inspired you to create your own space. Thank you and have a swell day.